Day 25, day 25, 30 days of Ham Radio Project. We are five days away from the end, guys. This has been a wild ride. I very much enjoyed it. It's been a lot of work. I got up this morning and I didn't want to record a video. I think that's the first time that's happened since this uh, series started. I was like, oh, gosh. But this is a good topic today. Today we're going to talk about the HOA legislation that the AWRL is trying to get passed. First, I want to say that the best videos I've done to date, the most popular videos that you guys have watched to date, is the uh, VHF contest station, the two-meter single sideband net that we did on a Wednesday night, and the APRS video. All of those have been really popular, which tells me that you guys want to see more videos like that. Some close runner-up, the POTA video was pretty good, the Lighthouse video was pretty good, the uh, the, re the two-meter repeater video was pretty good, so we'll do some more with that as well. All of the new stuff that I've done and all of the stuff that I've and talked about and categorized in different ways, it's really given me a good insight about the new stuff you guys want to see. So thank you for your support. Thank you for all you've done. Remember that we are doing this entire effort to support the AWRL Teachers Institute. Go to awrl.org forward slash 30 days. You will see this page right here. You can donate in honor of or in memory of by using the drop down memory here. You can sign your name to it or do it anonymously. And if your company does in employer matching gifts, you can use that right there. But that's what we're doing. We're trying to support the AWRL Teachers Institute to fund the efforts to get teachers up to Connecticut, trained in amateur radio, and take amateur radio back into their classrooms. So today we're going to be talking about something totally different from the AWRL. This is an email that I've got a few days ago. And I originally I wasn't going to do this as part of my 30-day videos because I already had that laid out. I, I started planning all the topics for the 30 days about two months before I hit record on the first video. This has come up recently. It's been talked about quite a bit. I've gotten emails from multiple sources. So the AWRL is trying to get an HOA, uh, a ham-friendly HOA bill campaign passed. Okay, this is sent to me by Steve Lott. He is my North Texas section manager for AWRL. And it says, this can become law if we as fellow amateurs sign the request for it to be so. Read more here. And he... He gives a link, so I'm not going to forward anyone this email, but this is a link to his own Blogspot website. And basically, this all this information right here is what he put in the email. A few minor changes, but basically the same thing. So I'm going to read this, guy, this to you, and I will link to this blog post in the description below. You guys can go check that out. I'm not going to read the whole thing today, but I'm going to read part of it. Change the legal rights of American hams. The AWRL is focused on reducing legal restraints on the ability of American amateur radio operators to engage in the active practice and enjoyment of amateur radio. One of the most insidious and increasing threats to the survival of amateur radio is our ability to serve our communities as a nation, as we are required to do by federal regulation. Required to do by federal regulation. I read that and I'm like, is it a requirement? There's, there's verbiage in the ham radio licensing that says, yes, we will help in times of MCOM. No one's going to come knocking on your door and say, well, you didn't help during the tornado last week, so we're going to have to inspect your station or take away your license. It's kind, it's not that way. It's not that way. So that's a little bit required by federal regulation. Yes, hams in general are required, but each of us individually, it's not. it doesn't fall on everyone's shoulders. This is the proliferation of private land use restrictions that prohibit the installation of outdoor antennas that sometimes actually deny federally licensed amateurs from operating from amateur radios, regardless of where their antennas are located, in their attics, hidden in trees, or mounted to their vehicles. And this is a part that I, this is a part that I heard recently, uh, which I already kind of knew that, but this articulates it a little bit better. Federal law since 1996 has guaranteed to every American except except us, except amateur radio operators, the right to erect antennas outside or on their residences for the purpose of TV reception, satellite TV, and internet access, wireless internet access, and even wireless internet redistribution. So, in other words, if you live in an HOA-restricted area, kind of out in, away from town, and you don't have good internet, you're allowed to put up a tower with a wireless Wi-Fi or wireless internet reception dish so that you can get internet to your home. That's not even in question in most places. I guess probably all HOAs are a little bit different, but there's a, according to what Steve is saying here, federal law since 1996 guarantees the right that you can put up a tower to receive either satellite TV or internet to your home if you don't have it hardlined, if you don't have a way to get it hardlined in. 
And in that regard, amateur radio operators are not afforded the same right to put up towers for our for what we do for emergency communications and whatnot. Now, some of you have, have commented on one of my last two videos saying, where's the interview you did with David Minster? Where's the interview you did with the AWRL CEO? Guys, I didn't do that. That was Josh. I know both of our names start with J. It's very confusing. So go out and watch this video on Josh's channel. He did a live stream interview the other night with David Minster, CEO of AWRL, and they talked about this very thing. They talked about this regulation that restricts amateur radio operators more than it does people who want to put up a TV dish or a flagpole or something to get internet to their own home. So it's not an even playing field so far, and this bill is going to try to fix that problem. This letter goes on to say, since 2005, federal law has also guaranteed to every American the right to proudly display the American flag. Despite that right to install vertical poles in our yard, American radio amateurs are denied the right to use those vertical flagpoles as vertical antennas. One of the very uh, the very first antenna I ever used on the POTA activation was a flagpole antenna, the SFP-102 antenna from TN-07. It's a 31-foot flagpole antenna. He even gives you an American flag to put at the top of the pole if you want to. And then inside of that fiberglass mast is an antenna. It's, a, it's just a vertical wire antenna. Works great. I've used it on many activations. I took it to Costa Rica one time. It was a very good antenna. You can hide antennas like that in certain... HOA restricted areas, but let's move on. We believe the denial to licensed amateur radio operators of the rights guaranteed to all non-amateur radio licensed American homeowners, the right to install antennas on land they own is without justification should not be permitted. A few other paragraphs here. We need your help to pass this legislation. How can you help by sending a letter to your representative and senator asking that they co-sponsor and support HR 1094 and S 459. How can you send these letters? It's easy. Go to send-a-letter.org forward slash HOA, which is this page right here. Now, I've already done this. I've already done this. I did this right before this, right before I hit record. And all it does is it says thank you. In fact, I guess I can do it again. I don't know. So it populate, you put in your call sign, it populates your name address. That's my mailbox mailing address, my email address right there. It tells me what my district is. I'm in Texas State District 24. Representative is Beth Van, Beth Van Duane, Duane? <laughs> and Senator is John Corwin. And all, uh, another Senator is Ted Cruz. Yay for Ted Cruz. So Beth Van, uh, I forget how, how to say her name. She's fairly new, I think. John Cornyn and Ted Cruz have been around a long time. I'm very familiar with them. So, you, And then you click on Send My Letters, click the red button, and it comes back and it says, Thank you. And it tells me the call sign has already been submitted to this site and we'll send the proper re representative. So if you do it the first time, it's going to say, thank you, we will send your letters. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do is click the red button and it sends the letters. And then you can go back in here if you want to and you can say, well, what, what does the letter say? You can click on this link right here and it will tell you. You can read through this and it talks about HR 1094 and S459. And it auto-populates those fields depending on your location. So one thing that I think it's also important to note is that you do not have to be an AWRL member to do this. All licensed amateur radio operators inside of the USA should be doing, should be clicking on these steps, whether you have an HOA or not, okay? Because in my opinion, now I don't want to get into a big thing here, but in my opinion, HOAs were unconstitutional. Yeah, you probably signed a paperwork. You bought a house in a neighborhood that, with an HOA. You knew it was there beforehand. I get it. I get that. Okay. But at the same time, some neighborhoods and some areas just don't have any options at all except neighborhoods with HOAs. If my wife and I ever moved to Galveston, which we've talked about doing, there are very few, if any, neighborhoods down there without an HOA. Okay, but I've lived in Grapevine for the last 22 years in this neighborhood, in this house, and never had an HOA. And we don't have people with boats in their yards and no trailer. We don't have people who mow their yard to find their car. So we live in a very nice, pleasant neighborhood because an HOA shouldn't have the right to tell you what you can and can't do on your own property. So that's where I'm going to leave that. I could get into a whole thing on that. I don't want to do that right now. Not the purpose of this video. But as a licensed amateur radio operator, inside of the United States or anyone with a U.S. call sign, I highly recommend that you go out here, follow the links in the description below, send the letters to the representatives in the House and in the Senate, and let's get this bill passed so that we can take away restrictions from amateur radio operators the way they've already been taken away from people who want to put up towers for internet, TV, and flagpoles. 
So that's day 25. Thank you for watching this series so far, and thank you for your donations. Update as of last night, we are up to $5,048. We broke that $5,000 mark. Again, my goal was $30,000, so we're not even close to that, and I really want to get as close to that as we can. We've only got five more days, but I am going to do a live stream probably the first weekend of October. going to try to get Steve Goodgame on here. We're going to do some talking about what uh, more detailed conversations about what the Teachers Institute is. So if you're waiting to the last minute, then okay, that's cool. But uh, thank you to those who have donated so far. $5,048 today with a total of 94 donors. The latest donations that we raised $125 yesterday with three new donors. And the notes from the notes that were left yesterday was in honor of myself, W9EGL, and my son, KQ4ITQ, who got me into all of this. So the son got his father into it. This was cool. He says, Jason, I observed my 70th birthday today as, I, as a semi-new amateur extra operator. I met you, J Josh, Frank, and many other YouTubers at the 2025 Huntsville Ham Fest. Thank you for the inspiration. Hey, thank you. Thanks for donating. Good to meet you at the Ham Fest this year. Come back next year. It's a fun time at that POTA event on the Friday before the Ham Fest in Huntsville every year. Really appreciate your support and the note that you left in the uh, in the donation page. Guys, awrl.org forward slash 30 days. We've got five more days of this. 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And it'll wrap up this project. I've had a lot of fun with this. Looking forward to the next step. 73, and we will see you guys tomorrow.